Hey guys, this is DIY Do's or Don'ts, and today I'm going to be doing the watercolor coffee mug DIY. So what you're going to need is a bowl of warm water, and in case this goes wrong, you know, I'm using a bowl that if it completely messes it up, that's okay, I'll throw it away. It was cheap. You will need some sort of ceramic mug, you know like this and you will need either one shade or two shades of a nail polish color see I've got a dark blue and a light blue and you can have one shade or two so let's get started now I'm gonna put the mug to the side oh and you'll also need like a toothpick which in this case I am using a pen Okay, so you're supposed to take like the first one. I'm using the darker. You use the dark one first. I'm pretty sure that's how they did it in the thing. Like they use the dark one first, and like you let it, like drip into the thing or whatever. Oh wait, no, you pour it. You pour it. My bad. So you kind of like pour it around here, and then very 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 quickly, you pull out the little baby, and you. Pour out the lighter tone, and then very, very quickly shake the pen or whatever, and you kind of, you know, you can form like a design, and then you just dip your cup in it. Oh my goodness, this works so well! You're supposed to like leave it in a minute. Oh, that is awesome! Look at that. That turned out so much better than I thought it would. Okay, uh, so after that, I'm gonna. Oh no, paint. Uh, oh no on my finger so I'm just gonna let it drip for a minute and I'm gonna use uh, you can put it on like wax paper or whatever you want I'm just gonna use this old binder just because it doesn't matter if it gets paint on it it's old so send that there and you're supposed to let it dry for about two hours so I'll see you then okay time is up I got a little impatient so I kind of blow dried in the last few minutes but this is the end result. I would definitely say that this is a DIY do. Because it turned out a lot better than I really thought it would. And the bomb's kind of cool too. But yeah. And I really, really like this. And it's good for gifts. And But a main thing in the DIY, it says to absolutely, under no circumstance, dish dishwash this. Which I understand why. I mean, it's nail polish. So do not dishwash it, it's hand wash only. And I really think that this could make for a great like gift and stuff for Christmas and such. So yeah, see y'all next time. 